everybody wants things immediately, if not yesterday. So how do you play the long game? And what's the incentive in doing it? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, I'm Kyla Denanyo, and today we're talking about playing the long game. What's the point? Who cares? <laughs> okay? The book we're talking about today is called The Long Game. The author of the book is Dory Clark. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is entrepreneurship leadership. Okay? So, how do you play the long game and what's the point? There are four important lessons that I learned from this book. We're gonna keep it really short, okay? Four lessons. Number one, think in waves, all right? What's the point of that? So there are three waves that Dory talks about in the book. The first one is learning, creating, connecting, and reaping, okay? There's a time in your life when all you wanna do is learn. You're watching this video, you're trying to learn, then you want to create. All right, I figured out, I watched her video, now I wanna go create my own YouTube videos. What do I need, what do I do, what do I set up? Then you are connecting. Oh, Kyla taught me something, maybe I should reach out to her and see if she has any tips, and then you get to reap, okay? So you gotta think in waves. Sometimes you're gonna be reaping, your business is doing really well. Sometimes you're just gonna be connecting. Hey, I know this person, you would love to know this person. You gotta know which wave that you're in because then you won't be frustrated, okay? You don't plant something and then expect to see it there tomorrow. You probably do, but that's not really how things work, <laughs> okay? So the second thing is no request from anyone for the first year that you've met them, okay? Let's say you're out at a dinner party, you meet someone, oh my God, you're fabulous, you're amazing, you're this. Hey, can you connect me with that person? Do you know somebody who could do this? Could you maybe do this? Will you buy? No request for the year, okay? Spend time with them, get to know them, even if it's virtual. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you interested? Hey, this, hey, this, hey, this. And then maybe even you can make a reference to them. Oh, I think you would love this person. Oh, I think you'd be good at this. You don't make any requests for the first year. Play the long game. For one, you expect that relationship to still be valid in a year. All right, so that's a whole different perspective you bring when you meet someone at a dinner party, okay? The third thing, experience takes time, okay? Dory Clark is an expert to me, but she writes that before she had three books, she was writing for the Harvard Business Review. But before she did that, she was writing for free. And before she did that, she was trying to figure out, do I enjoy writing? Do I just enjoy reading? What do I enjoy? She says it takes three years, three, three, three years to be considered an expert in something. Maybe you think you're an expert right now, but it takes three years for someone to recognize you as an expert. And I was like, well, that's why I'm not a millionaire from YouTube yet? Yes and no. <laughs> it took me three years to become an expert in podcasting. It's gonna take me three years and more to be an expert at YouTube because YouTube's always changing, right? It takes three years of doing something for you to be considered an expert. Give yourself time. You literally have to play the long game because you're not gonna be an expert day one, okay? You're just not, all right? And then the fourth way that you can play the long game is to appreciate the fact that an evidence of absence is not an absence of evidence. What? <laughs> the evidence of absence. Just because I'm recording videos, I'm reading books, I'm publishing them, I'm writing episode notes, where, where is the work, where is the stuff? Well, Kyla, you have an absence of evidence who's enjoying the videos, who is learning something, who just picked up the book. An absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence, okay? I get comments from people. Oh, I read their other book, I'm gonna pick up this one too. Oh, I think that's so funny. I put out a review about why I ate ramen noodles for a month to say $1,400, and I'll tag that video here. And people were like, how dare you do that? Oh my God, do you have high blood pressure from all the sodium? I didn't only eat ramen noodles, but you commented because you watched. Evidence, <laughs> okay? Every time you do something, you are putting work out there. You are putting good out there. Do you get the evidence that it was amazing immediately? No, because right now we're all obsessed with being viral. But when you play the long game, you have to realize it might take a little while for you to see some of the results. But again, say it with me, you're probably gonna hate the phrase. An absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Stuff is happening that you cannot see. Do your part, create it, put it into the world, <laughs> okay? So if you're interested in learning more about why I ate ramen noodles for a whole month, all right, check out this video here. It's all about how to create a budget. I had never had a budget before, so it's a really good video and I'll see you in the next one.